from the water. Linda Muma is live there with some information on uh, getting a free life jacket. Hi there. Yeah, good morning, ladies. Okay, check it out. There's the sign right there. If you see that on the outside of the fire station, that means that you can loan out a life jacket so that you're safe on the water. And this is going to be a very busy Memorial Day weekend out on the water with the temperatures heating up. Uh, also, some recent releases uh, on some of the rivers as well, increasing the speed and flow of that water. And so Rick Bussell is with the uh, Stanislaus Consolidated Fire Protection District. He's going to tell us all about the Life Jacket Loaner Program. So how does this work? We have, uh, we have life jackets uh, at all of our stations, and the public can come by and just pick up a life jacket. You know, an adult uh, having some type of identification can come by um, and check out life jackets at one of our stations, use them for the day, use them for the weekend, and uh, just bring them back. And this is free? It's free. We just have to fill out a simple form, uh, get some pertinent information, size uh, the people that need life jackets, and uh, loan those to them, and they can use them for, for however long they need. <laughs> okay, you've got a couple of different sizes here. Uh, this is really important. You really want to get the word out about this, especially now uh, over the Memorial Day weekend. Why is that? Well, it's important um, that you, when you go out to these waterways uh, that you have a life jacket. Um, especially those kids and, and people that are, are not uh, really strong swimmers. So we want to uh, encourage people to come by our station and utilize this program. We put the program together um, to increase the safety uh, at our lakes and on our, uh, our waterways. So we really want people to use this program um, to be safer out there. But even if you are a strong swimmer or consider yourself to be a strong swimmer, it's a good idea to wear one of these, right? So that you are safe because that water can be deceiving. Absolutely, yeah. There is, um, you know, the flow have increased on the Stanislaus River, which is a popular rafting uh, river in our area, and they've increased the water flows. It's flowing about 3,000 3, uh, cubic feet per second. So uh, when the water rises and it's flowing like that, the dynamics of the river change. And if you don't utilize that river often, you can, you can um, become trapped. You don't realize some of the issues that you have when those increased right. flows happen. So right. we encourage people to always uh, use a life preserver when, when going on the river. Okay, and real quickly, by the way, as you can see, they've got adult sizes as well. So not just for the children, but for adults as well. Let's go on the other side of the boat here just real quick because uh, you can show us basically how this works real quickly. So if people visit here at Fire Station 26 or one of the, the nine other stations within Stanislaus uh, Consolidated Fire Protection District, what do they do? What's, what's this clipboard all about? We have a simple uh, life jacket loan out program form. Okay. Um, it just uh, asks for the borrowers, uh, it's basically called the borrower's agreement, and it just a name, address, uh, phone number, and some type of identification. It also has down here um, the, the life jackets that we loan out, and we document those on here. They sign for them, and we ask them, you know, when do you plan on bringing them back? And uh, so we can kind of uh, forecast on how many life jackets that we're going to need to keep around or that we will have. So it's a simple form to fill out. Um, and they they take them and just bring them right back. Fantastic. Easy peasy, you guys. And by the way, like I said, nine different stations all throughout Modesto, Riverbank, Empire, Oakdale, you know, where all the waterways are. To keep you safe, you guys, send it I back to the it. studio. Yeah, it does help a lot. Thank you, Linda Muma.